So yeah, definitely. Um, all within possibilities here. So uh, let me cover a couple of quick things here. With any system that you deploy like this using iBeacons, it's important to have some sort of content management system. You don't want to be sending out the same 10% off coupon six months from now. Uh, most marketers are going to want control over that. So as a developer, it's important to have some sort of content management system where you can be updating pricing, messaging, uh, coupons that are pushed, all of that. And that's totally doable right now. I think one of the coolest things we've seen, what you can do with these, is if you're tracking lo people's locations inside of a store, over time you can generate something like this. Um, generate a heat map of people's locations. You can figure out flows throughout a store. It's very difficult to determine somebody's exact location, but if you're within five, 10 feet in a circle, you're very sure that they're within that circle. Well, that's much more fine grain than we've ever been able to do with Wi-Fi tracking technology. So you get kind of into the scary world right here, uh, makes people uncomfortable, but for those who opt in are okay with stores tracking their location and sending them targeted messaging, I think there's a lot of value to provide here, as long as you do it ethically. So uh, one cool example that I wanted to talk about, it's called Pickpocket. If you guys haven't downloaded this, you should download it now. It's a really cool app on the App Store. And basically, you get a certain amount of digital money, and when you get near people, you can steal money from them. <laughs> but as soon as you start to try to steal money from them, they get, you get, a, they get a notification on their phone that says, hey, somebody's trying to steal money from you, and you can block them, or you can steal money from them. So obviously, if you get into a room with 50 people who are running pickpocket, uh, crazy things happen. <laughs> so iBeacons are a lot more than just fun and games. We've seen some big implementations of iBeacons in the last like six months to a year. All Apple stores have iBeacons. You should just visit an Apple store with the Apple Store app just for this purpose alone, it's pretty cool to check out. Almost every single major league baseball park in America is gonna have iBeacons in 2014. Basically, once you buy your ticket, it'll pop up on your phone, but as you walk to the security gate, that ticket will pop back up on your phone so you don't have to reach into your pocket and pull out your physical ticket. You can just show it to the guy. All right, uh, NFL, so I think you're seeing a theme. Big sports stadiums are the first big adopters of iBeacon. NFL did the same kind of thing. You know, tell you what vendors you're nearby inside of a stadium. What's yeah. Show? This one is showing, it says, I think this one's sending some sort of push notification about a special in the, like the merch store. I know that with the NFL one, they've done lots of like coupons and stuff. They're trying to grab traffic from people walking through the stadium and get them inside of the merch stores. We see it at a large number of Safeway and Giant Eagle stores, um, American Eagle as well. So with that, I, I think that you guys can see that there are just huge implementations of this, but it's still a brand new technology with tons of opportunities. It hasn't been exploited yet. So, if you have any questions, just let me know, and thank you.